This video is an update to my previous video about frets on fire. A lot has changed since I made that video, and there are some important things in that video that are outdated, so I decided to make an update. The most important change that has been made is the emergence of frets on fire X, commonly written as FOFIX. This is by far the most organized effort yet in improving frets on fire, and they have lately released reliable, stable Mac builds of frets on fire X. Though I don't have Snow Leopard, I have heard on the forums that it does work with Snow Leopard. They have a website at Google Code, and I will post a link to it in the description. On this website, you can find downloads of the latest Mac versions of Frets on Fire X on the main page, as well as helpful FAQs and lists of known issues. To install Frets on Fire X, simply drag the unzipped application into your applications folder. Adding songs to Frets on Fire X is no different from adding songs to previous versions of Frets on Fire. First, right-click or control-click on the Frets on Fire X icon and choose Show Package Contents from the menu that appears. In the folder that opens, choose Contents, then choose Resources, then Data. In the Data folder, create a folder called Songs if one doesn't already exist. Add any downloaded songs to this folder. Something that has changed from past versions of Frets on Fire is the way that you use USB controllers with the game, as well as the kind of controllers you can use. With the release of Frets on Fire X, the game supports not only guitar, but drums and even vocals. In turn, the game supports rock band drums and microphones. I use Xbox 360 controllers along with the same driver that I mentioned in my last Frets on Fire video. There have been some reports on the forum that the driver does not work with Snow Leopard, even though the developer claims that it is compatible. There is a workaround that I will link to, though I can't confirm or deny that it works since I do not have Snow Leopard installed on my Mac. Also, something important to remember is that if you are trying to add multiple Xbox 360 controllers, make sure you always plug them in in the same order that you first plug them in to add them. For example, if you have an Xbox 360 drum set and a guitar, and when you first map their controls, you plugged in the guitar first, then the drum set, make sure you always plug them into your Mac in that order. If you don't, the game will not properly recognize them. Whichever controller you made to be the second controller will not work without the first controller plugged in. To use Xbox instrument controllers, download the driver as described in my previous video. Plug in all the controllers you want to use with the game, and start the game. Go to Options, Controls, and then to New Controller. You will be asked to name the controller. In the menu that appears, choose the type of instrument that corresponds to the one that you are trying to add. For example, if you have a standard wired explorer controller, you would choose Standard Guitar. Then, map the buttons the same way as I described in my last video. Fret 1 is green. Fret 2 is red, fret 3 is yellow, fret 4 is blue, and fret 5 is orange. Tilt the guitar to map star power. When you finish mapping the buttons, you will be brought back to the main controls menu. Now, highlight the option that says Controller 1 Default Guitar. Use the left or right arrow keys to choose the name of the instrument you just made. Repeat these steps to map other guitar or drum controllers. For drums, the red drum is drum 1. Drum 2 is yellow, drum 3 is blue, and drum 4 is green. If you are using drums with frets on fire, I recommend turning on drum navigation in the main control menu. To use a microphone, first see if it shows up in the sound system preferences. Then, in the game, make a new controller and choose the controller type microphone. Highlight the microphone device option and use the arrow keys to choose your desired microphone. As before, make sure you change the controller number you want to the new controller you just made. In my experience, rock band microphones work best with the game. Thanks for watching and enjoy.